the princess is in another castle? What a stupid story. Oh, hi there. Hi. Um, this week's word is pile. Now, pile is such a versatile word. It can be used as a noun, as in, go and grab that pile of things. Or it could be a, a verb, as in, Gary went and piled his things together. Or it could even be an adjective, like, get out of here, you piling mom. So I thought for this week's video that I would do a Mad Lib where most more older words are pile or some variation on pile. So I hope you enjoy it. And come back here, princess! Better from my neighbour. Dear neighbour, recently I've noticed that a herd of piles has taken up most of the space in your pile area. Well, of course they've taken up most of the space. That's what the pile area is for. Though this hasn't previously been an issue, I fear it is beginning to smell a bit like rotten piles. Oh, come on, it doesn't smell like someone's rotting hemorrhoids. I would appreciate it if you would take others into consideration and kindly pile the piles before I take matters into my own hands. They're already piled! That's why they're, that's why they're in the pile area! Believe me, you don't want me to come up there with a pile of chainsaws, some more piles of things, and an automatic piler machine, because it won't be pretty. A pile of chainsaws? That's ridiculous! You only need one! And while I have your attention, your constant piling every night is preventing us all from getting any sleep. How is it? How is it keeping everyone up? That doesn't even make sense! Putting things in piles doesn't make noise! If things don't change, I will be forced to call the cops, and you know they'll send Piles Von Piler, the robotic Pilosaurus. Robotic Pilosaurus? That is ridic- he's just lying out his ass now. In summary, please stop being so selfish and get piled. Your neighbour, Gary. Thanks, Gary. You can go and get piled. Oh, this game's friggin' stupid.